Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these elegant starry seed beads earrings. Consider subscribing, click the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting, in this way you help me so much. You could also share the beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in these videos and I need your support guys. Thank to all of you for staying here with me and watching my videos. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads. I'm using iris, white and golden. These are earring findings also in golden color. This is Neil Bond Nylon Beading Thread. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12, whatever is easier for you. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up eight of those beautiful seed beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here guys what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm doing it by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pulling and then what I want to do is to make just one more knot. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going through some beads in this direction. I'm taking one golden bead. I'm going backwards through this bead and through the following. You see what I have? And I'm pulling. Take another golden bead go back through this bead that I'm exiting out of and also go through the following. Another golden. Okay. And I will continue these guys until the end of this row. And I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this and in my next step guys, I'm going through this golden bead. Okay. Now what I want to do next is to flip my work. Why I flip it? Because it's easier for me to go in this direction than in the other one. But if it's easier for you, go in the other direction as I'm right handed. This is the easiest way for me. And obviously what I'm doing here is going through all the golden beads and adding one iris. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last iris bead from this row. And now I want to exit out of a golden bead. I take three golden beads and I'm going backwards through this golden and through the following iris and golden. And I pull gently. Take another three golden. 
beads go through the golden that I'm exiting out of back in circle plus the iris and the golden after that. In this way I'm making cute little right angle weaves or across four beads here. I add three goldens and when I go back through this golden and through the following iris and golden I have a cross of four. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding these three golden beads. And what I do next is to go through these two goldens, just like this, okay? And I'm ready to start my next row, but I will flip again. I take iris white iris go in the next golden that is sticking out iris white iris next golden iris white iris next golden okay and i'm going to continue this until the end and i'll be back Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last iris white iris and what I do next is to go through the following iris and white. I need three white beads, go back through the white and aim for the next white, okay? Going backwards through this white, I want to exit out of the next white. So when I pull, I have again this right angle weave or a cross of four beads. You see guys, I take three, but when I use this one that is already there and I go through it, in fact, I make a cross of four. And because in my next step I need to be exiting out of this white, I'm going through all of, bead, all of those beads just to save time. Again, I do the same thing. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three white beads. And again, I'm exiting out of the next white. Then I want to exit through the neighbor white. And I want to take five iris beads and as I'm exiting from this white, I'm going in the next white and also here through the following. Then white from the center to the outside. And I take five iris beads again and I go through this white and through the following. I go in the next white. Five. and like this okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding my last five beads from this row And what I want to do next is exit out of this white bead. And I'm going to flip my work like this because it's easier to go for, to go in this direction. Okay. And I take eight golden beads. 
I go in the next white eight golden again next white and eight okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay guys and I'm adding here my last eight beads from this row I'm going again in this white bead okay and I'm ready for my last row I go here through four golden beads take just one golden and go through the four goldens and through the following white bead and I pull and create an angle then I go through the following golden take one iris bead go through the golden before the white, through the white again okay then go through four golden beads take one golden four goldens, one white and go in the next golden one iris go back through the golden and through the white one like this go through four and one golden four goldens, one white next golden one iris golden and white next four goldens, okay? And I'm going to do this until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bead from this row. I'm going like this. And then I go here through this bead. Then I'm going to take one iris my earring finding and one iris and I'm going back in circle through this iris bead then I'm reinforcing this joint and after that I cut this tail thread okay guys and now my starry elegant seed beads earrings are ready they're super easy to make as you may see consider subscribing with the bell liking sharing and commenting to make me do more and more tutorials support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching